Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. So, I would say let's pick up where we left off, but there's two Aether. I know, actually I'll save them because I have those two up there. We'll do them after I'm done with this area. Yeah, we'll do that. Hey Kona, let's team up. Lost Promise. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get the headpiece. Kona's anxious to begin the search for Wakuma. If Lamatiu, Lamati was returned to Earth Earthenshire from the west, then she should have passed through here. Except rhetoric swears she didn't see her. In which case, it is entirely possible that Lamati never made it back to the village at all. The only way to be certain is to ask the sentry stationed at the opposite entrance. Alright. Like I said, we didn't keep a good eye out because that pathway was straight. Alright, I didn't do any of those yet. I did a few couple dailies with my healer. Which, Sage is now 92 and got a new move. A new AoE DPS spell. Which honestly is nice. If the guard did not see Lama T, then we can be fairly sure she's not in Earthenshire. She's not one to pass without notice. <laughs> the third promise. Moby has been standing at this post with diligent eye watchings. He has not seen no claimants pass this way. What if Tanawada with brightly colored hair? Moby knows something about that one. He hears tongue flaps about a Pelu peddler and many fires who was attacked by a crazy haired bandit on the road. A bandit, you say? Thank you. You've been most helpful. My sister is clearly not here, though I wish it were otherwise. We must consider the possibility that the Tanawatan messenger and the brigand described by the sentry are one of the same, and Lama T is in very real danger. Come, let us hurry to many fires. I like a word to the peddler, should they still be around. Alright, uh, I'm gonna teleport there, cause that's a long walk, my man. Alright, let's go. But yeah, I find it funny, we somehow lost track of her, even though the road was straight. Ah, well, that's small things. I don't need to repair my armor, cause that's all new stuff. All right, peddler. Was there something I can help you? Or was there something I can help you with? I'm told you are a victim of bandit attack. Could you recount exactly what happened? My goodness, I thought I recognized you. I'll tell you everything I remember, second promise. It was the scoundrel, Wawakesa, Wawakesa, who ambushed me. You know the name of your attacker? There's no mistaking that hair. All my peddler friends have their, have stories of that notorious bandit leader and his predations. Wawakasa well, and his gang will stoop to any low for the sake of a few pell. And with no fresh quarry coming up the broken stairs, they have been have to become more creative. And she's been kidnapped. Little wonder he went after Lamati. He likely thinks to ransom her for a royal sum. I expect he'll soon make his demands, but I don't intend to wait. We'll find this villain first and deliver his deserved payment in person. What say to you a small deception? I'll assume a role of a well-to-do merchant to lure Wakase. Wawakesi. Out hiding. Then when he comes sniffing about, we will catch the rat by the tail. Alright, I like the plan. An excellent plan, and I have just the right garments for your disguise. As special... As especially a discount price, of course. A brush with bandits hasn't dampened your mercantile spirit, I see. Very well, I accept your generous deal. Now we lay the bait. I will preside you into many fires to make my presence known. You follow on behind, boasting to those along the way how you paid me a hefty, pur hefty purse in exchange for a rare gemstone of, or some such. If Wawakase, Wawakase, I'll just call him Wawakase for now, is, a coin is as coin hungry as they say, then a recently enriched peddler should be an irresistible mark. We let him strike, 
and then we spring our trap. Understood. I pray that your scheme is successful. All right, time to play our parts. Follow me. Understood. I forgot how to walk. Is it V? No. C? No. Oh, we're good. There, that zebra fella. Share with them how happy your imaginary deal with me has made you. Once you, you've put an appropriate display upon an appropriate display, we can continue on to our next uh, performance. Okay. Hey, man, I am very. Uh, let me say. Dash happy. Yeah, yeah. Anyone say hi to me today? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, they did. A rare gemstone from the Hethstaro merchant, you say. I envy the profit he must have made from such a sale. Since the stairs were destroyed, I've not been able to peddle goods at my usual haunts. Don't want to be rude. A good star, but I, I would make certain Walkase is aware of me. Let's continue. All right. For now, we'll close that. Walkase. Oh, okay. That model over there looks amenable to the conversation. The stage is yours, Bader. Hey, man. Let me tell you. I am so... Happy. Nope, wrong one. Yeah, yeah. The Hetzaro uh, sold you a sparkle stone for your collection. That explains a, your giant joy smiles. Moby is happy for your happiness. Moby is also jealous of the merchant and all the jingle shine he must have made. Excellent. Jingle shine. That should be enough, but perhaps one last act to drive it home. All right. This reminds me of Final Fantasy XII, where you go around as Vaughn in town, saying you're, uh, Sir, uh, your Bosch Ronsenberg of Dalmasca. Do you see that cheerful Pelu? Tell him the tale of your precious gemstone, and then we'll be done with this part of the charade. Hey man, let me tell you, I am so happy. A passing peddler had the very gemstone you stopped for your collection. That's a stroke of luck. And I wager the merchant was just as pleased to fill his pockets with your grateful coin, eh? Very. Well, I'm inspired to go and earn some pell of my own. Who knows? Maybe opportunity will find me, even as it's found you. Uh huh. Ah, my most valued customer. Profit from that single purchase of yours should see me through weeks of idle le leisure. Traveling with such a fat purse and no sell swords is tempting fate. So I shall make to Earthenshire my last step and then return forth forthwith to Turlio. Yep. <laughs> you see, the rat has come for a nibble. That I did see. Oh, I know what they're talking about now. Didn't Vieira get new headwear or something like that? You played your part to perfection, Bader. A man of many talents, just as Thancred and Neuron J described. Now let us lure Wilkes yeah, Wilkesi out and spring our trap. Thank you for the headwear. 
I all so I have uh okay let's equip it. So in Final Fantasy I have like a few characters. Eh, the head wears meh. So this is the second character I actually made. My first one's in a different server altogether, and he's just a regular old human. But then when uh Heaven's Word came out, and by the end of it, of course I jumped back in, like I said, and then I wanted to make a new character. So I made Bader Tour good using the random name generator, and then I made him. Great highlights in the air and all that, make him look experienced and aged and all that. And um What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something from what he was saying. Oh darn, now I don't remember. Well what I was gonna say is uh this character is my main character. The other ones I never touch. Oh, now I remember. I've never played male Vieros or female. I only play male characters when I have an option because it's easier for me to get immersed in the game. If a game gives me a female and the female only, I don't complain. But I only play males if I can create a character for me. And uh, the only other class I've played are the male humans, and then I played a male. Th I have I used a Fantasia, on Bader here, and for an expansion, Shadowbringers, I turned myself into a Rothgar. Then I changed back because Rothgar was okay and all, but look at this, can't replace it. All right, that's what I was gonna say. A brother's duty. Kona wishes to execute the final stage of his plan. Let's execute the final stage of the plan. I will I will set out towards Earthenshire, alone and unarmed, the better to sell the act of, def of a defenseless virgin. Assuming Bokesi is watching, he will likely wait for some quiet stretch of the road before crossing me. I'll be relying on you to follow closely behind. Remain hidden until the time comes to spring the trap on our bandit king. Just remember, we need him alive. You know, the alive part. You sure? <laughs> Alright, there's the destination. We'll head there. Let's see what happens. Well, it's definitely not going to happen here. It's way too soon. It might happen, like, around here, maybe. Decently away from the village, a nice curve or bend in the road. That giant rock will hide them from the sights of the villagers and guardsmen. That would be your best spot, because if you go too far up, Earth and Shire will see everything. I'm just trying to put logic here. Ah, I am correct. I hear business has been good to you, Master Merchant. How about you share some of the profits? And by some, I mean every coin you have. Well, they fell for it. Alright, let's do this. You're the gemstone collector. Oh, I see what this is. We've been tricked. Bit in your eye. Men kill these vidral. Oh, lady, you don't know what you're up against. Slippy ver slippery vermin. We have to interrogate his underlings instead. If you'd be so kind, Vader, pray leave them capable of speech. And no promises. I'm using a blade that shoots bullets. You know, let's make this challenging. Immediately gonna do this, because I want to. Now. Oh, you poor sucker. And just like that, I got my health back. Mostly.
I even gave you guys a 1 HP tank. Oh well. I can try and give them an upper hand next time. I was hoping to talk with your boss, but I suppose you three will have to do. Have we seen a female Viera before? Oh, I'm thinking of the one that the first promise brought as uh, his, uh... The, uh, the crafter. Right, never mind. Wait, that's the second promise. What do you want with us? Think I'm scared of a fancy title? I'll take your royal ears as a trophy. As soon as I get free of these ropes. I know your gang is behind my sister's abduction. Tell me where she is. Eat pack of shit, salt lover. You'll get no answers from us. That's right. We don't serve you. Don't play games with me. Where's Wak Ooh, he mad. I am fast losing patience. Talk now or die. The choice is yours. We were hired and have the third promise. That's all. We don't know where they took her. Hired? By whom? We weren't told that either. Only Wokese knows. He's the one who took the job. Well, it seems we needed their leader after all. Once I've arranged, arranged for the land's guard to take the custody of these criminals, I'll call on Thancred and his tracking skills. But perhaps you could pursue Wakesi in the meantime. The bandit was running in the easterly direction. Should you locate him, I suggest you shadow him rather than force a confrontation. He might lead us to where Lamati is being held. Alright. Go after Wakesa. I'll watch these miscreants until they can be taken in the land's guard custody. Alright. Let's figure out where he went. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna do this real quick. The BGM is still a bit loud, so I'll turn it to 54 instead of 60. It's only a small bit, but every bit matters. Alright. Probably over there. I haven't been over there yet. Alright. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, he, his hideout's probably over there somewhere. Alright, time to do some hiding behind trees. I see you. Behind you. I'm stalking you. Alright, time to hunt my prey. Yep, I know how this works. I've done it since Stormblood? I think this was added in Stormblood originally. Nope. I can't believe I didn't see it. I knew that man looked familiar. The job's more trouble than it's worth. Nope, I'm gonna wait. Okay. Alright. Yeah, when they keep behind this tree. What was that? I'm gonna zoom the camera out because I want all of you with this. That tree? Go, 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 go. Alright. This was meant to be easy. I'm going to this tree now. Oh. Man, he's really going. Man, they made these so they keep going for a while. I'm scared he's gonna turn around. What was that?
Oh, Makessa. Ah, you know, now I can pronounce his name. For some reason it just hit me. It's Bobokessa. Just like rhetoric hit me at a random point while I was talking to the Moblin. It's like, ew. These count, right? Huh? We're about to find out. Nope, never mind. Oh, that sucks. Okay, that doesn't count. Gotta redo it. Sorry, buddy. In fact, all right, welcome back. I'm up to here again. So let's not get caught again this time. He'll go about the right there and turn around. So the reeds are not safe. So I'll try and stay behind the rock maybe. Because I... Oh, I actually I'll hide behind a tree. This tree. Damn nerves. I mean, you're right. You are being followed. Alright. I think if we're nearing the end, he's going to start turning around more. So I got to be careful. On sprint. Thank you. All right, and we here sh should be safe enough now. Oh, let me just put that away. Oh, wait, what? Oh, easy there, game. Okay, get to that tree. Get to that tree. He said to meet him in front of the hideout. Perfect. Man, my HP is actually quite high. 118,000. Damn, where's that hoobigo? Hoobigo. I don't know. All right, time to be very careful. Very careful. Ah. Yes. Second try. I got too carried away and thought the reeds would hide me. No, it has to be an actual, like, giant solid structure. Hey, oh. Ah, uh, Faku Jaja. Of course it's you. Finally, my money. Give it to me now. The Lance Guard may be hunting us already. Calm yourself. We had our own troubles finding a suitable hideaway. Right. We're finished. Take your prize and leave me out with the rest. Such hostility. You were hurting for coin. I offered you offered you gainful employment out with the kindness of my heart. Kindness? You brought a black blackened tempest upon us. One look and I could tell that man was a killer, a butcher, a salted devil in the flesh. Oh, spare me your fearful bleeding. Go on. Scamper away now before the scary mercenary comes to claim your head. Kona told me the news. You found the abductor then. What's the situation? And you think the bandits were hired by this Hubigo? Alright, new strategy. Forget Wakasa and stay on the Mamuja's tail. We don't want to endanger the third promise, so keep your distance until we're certain they have her. I'll catch up as soon as I'm able. Understood. Wait, I'm doing another follow mission? Okay, so that's his hideout. But we're not worried about his hideout. Are we doing two back to back? Oh, we are. Alright. We're doing this now. Tree. Tree, 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 tree. Hug the tree. Oh, wait, not yet. Now... This is a good tree. I like this tree. My favorite tree right here. I could have run over there. Let's stick to the straight path. I'm going to go to that tree. He's not turning around. Does that count? Okay. Move, 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 move. Okay, 
Okay, so part of this one does not turn around. Fede who be go. I am over pushing. I can run up to that tree. I'm just gonna wait for him to go up a bit more. Ooh, hello, me. Okay, yeah, he's going that away. Oh, mm hmm? Actually, I could do this. There we go. Things. I better hurry if I don't want to a beating. Are you gonna start moving faster? Yep, here we go. Fifth F, by the way, marks a target. It's a focus target. As a healer, I usually do it on the main tank so I can keep a complete eye on their health. Or I do it on the enemy so I know when tank busters and such are about to happen. Okay. Woo, man, you kind of move fast. Oh, my sprint's out. Oh, wait. One last per precaution, just in case. Oh, wait, so she's on that. Maybe. Okay. He freed it so we can't follow from boats. <clears throat> Better late than never. That Mamulja. He's the one who kidnapped Wook Lamart. So we're still unsure. If we can follow him a bit longer, confirm his connection to the abductors. Oh, and there's their boat. <sighs> that will complicate matters. Uh huh. Bakul Shaja. If I set out now, I can trail them along the riverbank. Do it! Even if it costs you the contest. What worth is the throne if I lose my sister to win it? Is humanity... Nice. That's a good sign of a leader right there. Very well then. I'll send word when I locate her. Till then, I suggest you save your strength. A rescue attempt could turn ugly. Like I said, Kona, if Walk Lamont does not get it, I want him to get it. That who be gorgeous now. I swear I've seen him with Bakul Jaja. Yeah. Knowing the way that monster works, he probably hired bandits to kidnap her so he could steal her keystones. But even alone, my sister is more than a match for a gang of untrained ruffians. She must have been ambushed or deceived. Probably deceived and ambushed. I should have been there. If those bastards have hurt her. Be patient, trust and thank her. Trust him, but <sighs> forgive me. Snapping at you won't get my sister back. I'm afraid I've always been like this when it comes to Lamachi. The thought of her being in danger 
sends me into a panic. But isn't that how families should be? These days, Turali Mikote live however they please. But the clan into which I was born kept to the nomadic traditions of our ancestors. They herded their own neck across the plains, always moving with the seasons. During one such migration, my birth parents left me behind. A child. All alone. Without a single word of explanation. A chance encounter with a kind Pelu merchant was the only reason I survived. Taking pity on me, he taught me his trade that I might fend for myself. I became a stallkeeper in Tuliyolal's market. And that is where the Don Servant found and adopted me. I had already been in the palace some time when Lamachi came to join us. Like me, she had been cast aside by her parents. I knew the pain of solitude and wanted to spare her that suffering. As this tiny child's new brother, I swore I would always be there for her. <clears throat> so, as you might now understand, I will stop at nothing to rescue her. While we await word from Tancred, I suggest we prepare ourselves to travel downriver. You have a boat, yes? Yeah, they just, uh, it's not moving anytime soon. Why release the Ponity if not to delay pursuit? If we were unsure of their guilt before, then this surely proves it. Before we act, however, let us regroup with your comrades. Would you mind making the call? Understood. We'll meet you at many fires. All right. I may have to put rescuing La Lamati ahead of my own progress. But do not take that But do not take that to mean I've given up on the contest. I understand how important she is to me. Yet regardless of how close we were, I have I would have made this the same choice. After all, after all, if I'm incapable of saving my sister while also winning the throne, I'm not fit to inherit my, our father's heavy mantle. Feeding the river. Kona wishes to gather your companions for the upcoming rescue mission. We need to gather our forces. Well, here they all are. Firstly, allow me to brief everyone on our present situation. Thus, at the very least, we believe that... Oh, sorry, I have the hiccups now. This who... Here we go. This who bigo knows where Lamati has been taken. Thank is showering their boat as we speak, and I should like to join him with all haste. Unfortunately, our quarry has the foresight to release your punity from his har its harness, leaving us without a means to give pursuit. Aaronville. As an expert of wildlife, what are the chances of recapturing the beast? With the right, with the right mixer of feed, it can be done. 
I should like an extra hand to help scatter it about, however. Would you accompany him, Vader? Meanwhile, the rest of us should go on working, uh, uh, getting the harness repaired. It appears to have been damaged when the PNT was let loose. With all the peddlers here in camp, we should have little trouble purchasing replacement materials. As for necessary metal work, Earthenshire's artisans are but a short walk away. Then let us divide the task and have at it. There was an unusually aggressive herd of wild punities downriver, so our girl will have fled to the opposite direction. Come, we'll try the waters upriver. I wonder if we do a dungeon next, if I can have Kona in it. Either we're gonna rescue her from a dungeon instance or a uh, actual trial, but we'll see when we get there. All right. I could waste two cartridges and just use this now. I don't want to, but I can. I can just do this for fun, though. And I'll just do this. Aaron Boo. Assuming the PNT has come this way, she'll be hiding in the depths of the Marsh Legata. Legata. We'll need to lure her lure her back to the shallows with the promise of food. Well, wild pumides eat mainly aquatic grass and plants, but the tame ones are often fed vegetable scraps. Doing this, I added leftovers to the feed I prepared. This should help the mixture stand out against the marsh's natural scents. Legata is crawling with predators, however, so I'll leave it to you to scatter the feed deeper in. I'll be waiting for you near the shallows, the rest of our PUT's enticing feast. Alright. How far am I going? What far to the point I need a mount? You know what? I'm actually gonna change you. Uh, we've seen that one. Now, let's ride. You know what? I am very tempted. You know what? We're doing it. Hey, Widowmaker. Alright. Oh, I have no idea what those are. Who are you? A swamp monk. Okay. Well, ignore me. I said ignore me. Oh, you can't catch me. Alright. Oh, I should lose aggro by the time I get there. So the young girl should be in here somewhere. Destination. Puny, puny feed. This pu This pungent puny feed contains a mix of aquatic plants and vegetable scraps. Let's use it. Alright, now we're gonna scatter up here. see the magic happen hopefully I'm coming Aaronville slowly my feet are gonna be soaked from this ah. all set I just finished laying out the last the last of the bait step back 
I'll sight and leave the rest to me. They're fighting something. Here she is. Shh, there's nothing to be afraid of. We just need your help one last time. You're hungry, I wager. Come on, come with me. Yes, that's a good girl. We'll be fine here, I think. I'll give her a few more treats, then lead her over to the boat. You can let Kona know we'll have our puny back. Too lazy to walk. We teleport there. Quick way to travel. Alright, Kona, I have great news. Well, good news, won't say great. Your sister's still kidnapped. Amvale has the putiny in hand. Good, I expect nothing less from the certified gleaner. As for the harness, we were able, able to purchase all the parts we need. The Levy. Leve. Le Levi. Le 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 Why can't I not say the last names? Levi Lur twins. The Levi Lur twins are over in Earth and Shun right now, having the pot sworn make the repairs. I'm told it shouldn't be long. We will be ready to embark on the rest our rescue mission as soon as we as we hear from Thankward. Ah, an Aether Current. Sibling rescue. Kona is nervously awaiting the call from Thankward. Thankward must know something by now. There he is. You found her? Understood, thank you. I have but to invoke his name. Thankward followed the Hubigo's boat to its destination and confirmed that they are indeed holding my sister captive. They, of course, being Baku Jaja and his minions. I swear I'll make him them regret this. Lamati and Richleaf Tunnels. The moment the harness is repaired, we strap in the punity and make our way back down Ikuhukamatamabu. I, I, I love that the one expansion I want to start recording on because I do want to play for FF14 and pay attention to the story this time and actually enjoy it. The names are horrible for me. Now, is this a trial? Or is this an instance fight? I got a feeling this might be a trial. If so, I'm gonna bring them in with me. Like I said, I'm gonna use NPCs, cause story. Or is it a dungeon? But yeah, we're back in the dungeon where we fought that mantis creature. The third promise is up ahead. She's unharmed, but we best not dally. I think we're finally going one-on-one -on -one with Baku Jaja. Oh yeah, she's strapped down. <laughs> I spit on these pathetic feats. Far more satisfying to claim the baubles by force. I know for a fact that's not exactly what you want. Give it back! Volgentan poured his everything into that stone. He's no right to touch it! Oh, was that the name of your artisan? How could you allow something so precious to be stolen? You thieving cheat! You're no true claimant! <laughs> What does that make the foolish kitty who fell into my trap? If pitiful roars were all it took to claim the throne, you'd be first in line. Now, now, brother. You shouldn't tease her. Look, 
The poor things on the verge of tears. Meow. Someone save me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 your brother oh, shot him. <laughs> yeah. His scales are as thick as his skulls. Coward! You dare ambush me! Tis the blessed sibling's favorite tactic. Oh, that useless Buddha was sick of us. He was supposed to keep the lackeys running in circles. Oh, you must tell me all about that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wait, where's Thancred? I don't see him. I don't see him. Where's Thancred? Oh, we're about to whoop his ass. That one's not to be underestimated. They can do nothing while we have. There he is. Impeccable timing. <laughs> Amachi, are you all right? I think you pulled something. I, thanks to you. <laughs> These weaklings think they can defy us. We'll slaughter a lot of them! Patience, brother. The keystone is ours. There is no need to fight this day. And Zoralja has left us hurting. No! I won't stop until I got these maggots and feed them their entrance! Oh. If we fall here, we feign our siblings for nothing. Is that what you want? Is he gonna be too hot-headed and charge in the battle? Uh, nope. He's he's thinking about it. No, brother. Damn it! He does have our keystones. Break off! We retreat. Wait! Uh, damn you, Bakul Shaja! Well. I have our keystones, that sucks. Do we give chase? We head back. Mamachi is safe. And that is what matters. Hmm, so we're missing the blue one. Yeah, she's a big girl. You definitely pulled something. She doesn't have her axe, I noticed. I'm glad to see you unharmed, Lamachi. Thanks again for coming to my rescue, Kona. And all of you too. Bakuljanja must have been desperate indeed to resort to such aggressive tactics. I shouldn't have been so careless. I underestimated him, and it cost me a keystone. Fontaine up upended his life so that I could accomplish the Moblin's feat. He believed in me, believed in my cause, and I've let him down.
and we take back what was stolen. Yes, we'll do exactly that. The next time I meet that brute, I'll knock him straight out. I'll knock him straight out of his scaly behind. Take back my keystone. Speaking of vengeance, did Baku Jaja curse some useless Bandue sycophant when we caught sight of us? A reference to Saryuja, I presume. I would assume. He is devoted to our brother and is the only Buna way I know of participating in the rite of succession. If Zoro Ja was somehow involved in this. I will never forgive for putting our sister in danger. He will have forfeited his right to be called brother. Yeah, he had definitely has his emotional outburst, doesn't he? Baku Jaja should face punishment, of course, but so must the bandits who have the temerity to abduct Lamati. I shall request that father send a contingent of lands guard to enforce the law in this region. I, I agree that measures need to be taken to keep travelers safe. But I wonder what pushed these people toward a life of banditry in the first place. If we dig deeper, we might find a way to improve things for everybody. And our everyone, my bad. It is something to think about. For now, however, the right continues. I thank you all for your help. Alright, we're back to competing against each other. Technically, they're in the lead because they have the keystone. We should be moving on as well. Are you feeling fit to travel, Wakalmont? You bet I am. Zoral Jaws gained a good head start. And it's time we clawed back some lost ground. I agree. All right. Well, at least the gang's back together. All right. The walk the walk I once knew would have been inconsiderable at the loss of the keystone. This journey and your companionship is doing her a world of good. Kona is in the picture of composure and rationality, except when it comes to matters concerning Wakulmut's safety. Or be it for me to default a brother for being, a protect being protective, but still. We'll need to get that, take back that keystone from, uh, back from Bakja Bakujaja before we arrive at the Sea of Gold. We will not relinquish, relinquish it without a fight, though. Though they share a single body, it's obvious Bakul Jaja has two minds when when you see one head calming the other's head down. His personalities are distinct as two individuals can be can be. Yeah. I am, really am sorry this happened. From now on, I won't let my guard down around suspicious strangers. And again, I do appreciate you all coming to save me. God Nate the current! History's Keepers. Aquamut has her sights set on Yakoi Village. I'm gonna go for that. I can. Uh, it only sells 500. Um, we only get two of these. I'm gonna get the 500 gold, I guess. The road beckons, friends. Let's be on our way to the Yakoi. That's back where the path through the mountain begins. You remember the spot where you're tricked into walking off with the uh, Wakasi? <laughs> Just gonna rub it in my face like that, eh? I wonder if he's raising my hackles on purpose, though. You know, trying to keep my anger directed at him instead of myself. Either way, we can't be standing around here all day. We have a lot of lost time to make up for. Alright, we're going back. Oh, that's a nice little armor set you have on. That is the DPS uh, mage set. The hat, though, is a different hat of not that set. 
All right, uh, we're taking the quick way there, everybody. It's a beautiful 60 gil. I can get that back just by doing the quests. Alright. Gonna walk. Actually, I take that back. Here, let me uh do another mount. I'm changing it again. This one's another battle theme which I absolutely love. This one was at the end of Stormblood. I this was uh two three this was four point four, four point five? I don't quite remember, but this battle theme in battle is great. And also it's sad. Very sad. Yeah. Alright, that's enough of that. I don't need a uh, square being on my butt again. Zoral Ja will not have wasting will not have been wasting time while we were busy tussling with Baku Zha Zha. We need to hurry. Aaronville said this pass will take us all the way to Ukopaka Highlands, didn't he? Where is he, by the way? Where is Aaronville? Those bandits must have been watching us from the moment we stepped off the riverboat. I knew I felt eyes on us. I do remember you saying that. I couldn't leave without letting re rhetoric know what happens, so I stopped in Earthenshire to uh, say a few words before moving on. Yeah, where's Aaronville? Am I the only one who notices? And now Aaronville's nowhere to be seen. Can he wait a few more moments? Hm. So much for giving him the benefit of my the doubt. Come on, let's catch up. I want to give that smug gleaner a piece of my mind. I worried Wuklamot would agonize over the loss of our keystone, but it seems I had nothing to be concerned about. Onwards and upwards, then. Well, as Aaronville said, Wuklamot in the past would have been furious and worrying about the loss of the keystone, but now she's matured a bit. She's taking her licks. She's not complaining about them and she's accepting she messed up. I'm pretty sure she's gonna learn about it. Now, to a new region! Away! Oh, uh, no preference, honestly. Don't care about what instance you put me in. Alright, let's see this map. Uh, oh... Okay, so we're south now. Oh, ancient ruins. I said ruins. I meant ruins. My bad. Brain no work sometimes. We have to be quite high up by now, which makes me wonder how much higher the summit of Wokorzomor must be. Wokorzomor. <sighs> I've never climbed so high before. I'll tell Aramil once I catch my breath. The Akoi have a deep connection to the legend of the Golden City. This visit will allow us to ask them about directly. Seems those buildings up ahead are the village we're headed for. They are, it looks like a ancient civilization, all right. Like a Machu Picchu in a way. As I'm sure you noticed, the air grows thin at this elevation. Take it slow until your body adjusts. Deep breaths, drink plenty of water. A few more steps, it will be at War War Warler's Echo. Warler's Echo. Okay. All right. I'm gonna walk there. Taking the sights, the music. I like the peaceful piano right now. It is nice and calming. Now, I wanna hear what this sounds like during the day. That's the problem. Everything I'm doing right now is at night time. Mostly because I'm playing at the same time every single time. I was worried the giants would be all dead, but I think I see one over there. Are those giants? Oh, they are a little bigger. Hello. Merchants vi visit us from time to time. We offer them rarities uh, only found here, while they offer us curiosities of their own in return. Okay. Let me attune this crystal. 
Hey, what do we have for the merchant? You must have a different weapon by now. Ah, oh, man, 655. Ah, oh, right, it's that one. It goes with the armor. Alright, top us. Alright, but yeah, nothing much. No, I already seen the sets. Don't need to. Okay. Let me talk to the alpaca keep. I never use you guys, but if I oh wait, oh nope, nope, now I want it. Nope, no, 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 no. Man. Aaronville? I knew the path led here, but I've never set foot in this village myself. Everything here is giant size, but that structure in the back is on a different scale altogether. Temple of some kind, mayhap? Maybe. Thank the gods they have an aetherite. I don't fancy the idea of trudging up the mountain trail a second time. Agreed. Chillier, stout stone structure. If I squint a bit, I might think I was in Ishgard for a moment. Yeah, but that's more cold and snowy. And full of death. Hmm. I think I'm getting used to the air up here. Well, death until we come in and help fix things. So this place... So this is the place from the Lay of Proof where Papa met the Akhoi. They're not as giant as I thought they'd be. And this must be them. I don't think I've ever actually seen one outside of the picture. a picture. So, it... it so, it is for most Turia, Turia, Turoli. The giants rarely visit the lowlands. Here in the mountain fatness, they tend to their solemn duty they pledge to undertake in their pact with Dawn Servant, which is to watch over the Tur Turil Vidral, Billy Garmada, and maintain its prison within their temple. Oh, great, yeah, it's gonna break out. Ah, uh, yes, what Clement told us of the Turil Vidral. Creatures that live for far longer than normal and awaken to strange powers. Also, the Viper Quest told us about those. Indeed. Yeah, even among these anomalies, Villa Garmada is unrivaled in strength. It has endured many for centuries, bringing catastrophe each time it emerges from its lair. Oh, there's a hole there. Must have ripped out from there. As you've learned in the Lay of Eyes, it was Galu Jaja who at last managed to imprison the beast and it was laying dormant in the temple ever since. It said the building still bears a gaping hole in the ceiling from where Villa Gamarda was lured inside by Galu Jaja's final ploy. I'd like to see the strongest of all Turo Vidral. I wonder what it'd be like to fight it. No, please, no, no, no. Where's that go? Was where both the Lay of Proof and the Lay of Ice took place. Does this not suggest we'll be facing two feats this time? That's a question we can ask the Elector once we find him. Or maybe we should flush out Baku Jaja first, so I can beat my keystone out of him. No, identifying a Dawn Servant's Elector should be a priority. Because doing that, Baku Jaja will still have to come to us. I suppose we still have four keystones to earn, and no matter what we do, the contest will pit us against him sooner or later. Alright, let's seek out the Elector. Then I suggest we pay visit to the Car... Car... Cari Orzar. Cari Orzar, the Gracious, or so their temple is called. The Moblins told me the High Lumina Lumery... Ger... Gerfler... Gerfler, Gerfler, is found there. If we are to ask someone for information, then he seems the wise choice. Gerfler. Gerfler. Uh. Alright, let's go find this man. Or should I say, Yakoi? Someone's just chilling. Level 100 also. Lucky. I'm getting there slowly. I'm level 93. Hey, everybody. Is it temple to request to entrance to the temple, you think? I would believe so if it's in there. 
We'll need permission to enter the temple, but I don't expect it to be a problem for the third promise. Oh, so we can't enter a temple. I thought I was trapped in there, but I guess there's a prison in a way in there in the temple. Okay. While this is certainly an impressive building, it doesn't seem the sort of structure one would build to hold a Toro Vigil. No, there's probably something more in there. Temple guards have been watching us most in in intolent. intently. One does not stroll freely in the Villa Gamarda's prison, it seems. Let's see if I can convince the guards to let us through. I am Wakulmont, third promise of Turlio, and I see your elector for the right succession. May I speak to Gerfler? The High Luminary has granted admittance to your claimants. You may enter. Oh, Luminary, now I want to say the word. Huh, that was easier than I expected. In we go, then. I'm curious. Will we see the prison itself, or are we just going to enter it? I got a feeling it might be its own thing, the prison. I doubt they're going to let us see it. But if they do... Well, we'll see. God. Is that? Oh, we're going to see it? I, Villa Gamada. Oh... And that's why it's the Trial of Ice. Oh. Is that the head? I thought that was the head for a second, but I don't think that is. Welcome. High Luminary Gerfler. He is not here at present. I am Luminary Zmurr... 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 I do not like your names. This is the Sky Ruin. Vilkamarda. It is the Turo Vigil whose name has evoked terror since time immemorial. Even my people, once conquerors of all beneath the sun, were as brittle as before Vil... Villagamarda's temperous powers. When Sky Ruin descended upon Urkapaka eight decades ago, the casualties were staggering. Had Galu Jaja and his companions not intervened, we would have been slaughtered to the last. Okay, so yeah, head, tail. We're seeing the tail. Their titanic battle with Villagamarda raged for ten days and ten nights. Yeah, that's long, isn't it? As their foe fought on tireless tire, tire and relentless, our heroes were pushed beyond the limits of their endurance. Also, if I'm seeing this correctly, that's Galuf right there. Thus did the he head of reason concoct a desperate plan. Galu Jaja tricked the Sky Ruin into losing control of its own ice magics, causing an unwitting Turl Vidral to encase itself in frozen Aether. Oh! And it's been like this ever since. Nice work, Papa. But what happens if the ice ever melts? The same question looms large in our minds. For the magic sustaining this prison grows weaker with each passing year. Vilicomarda commands powers of fire and lightning and ice. Some believe that the violence of the recent storms was a result of those energies slipping free. Oh, that's not good. Those raging tempests from Philogamarda. Honda. Setting future worries aside, you are come to attempt the feat of proof, yes? The High Luminary, chosen elector of the Dawn Serpent, has left me with instructions for all aspiring climates. You are to scour our forbidden mountains and find the waiting Gerfler. This is your challenge. Ah, so the search itself is the feat. You've already spoken with my brothers, I take it. I have. Their expeditions are underway. Then we'd better pick up the pace. Aye, but we'll need a direction to search for first. Let's see what hints we can gather from the villagers. Oh, I can already see the bell with you.
never ends. Ice that never melts. By each year, the magics of it weakens. Hmm. I've encountered many extraordinary creatures in the Ores Yard and elsewhere, but long has it been since I've felt such an overwhelming presence. Like a thousand daggers pointing prickly my skin. I sense the recent expulsion of great of a great deal of aether from Vilgamarda's prison. The ice will hold but a few years more, I fear. Turl Vidral sound an awful lot like the species of the Far East. Are they the same thing under a different name, do you think? A large as large as the Yokoi seem uh, are. Taken blindly for one in the expanse of these mountains would be an exercise of futility. We need more information. Gods. Villagamarda is huge. Uh, uh, sorry, he's enormous. I know Papa had friends with him, but it's incredible he could hold his own against that thing. Its prison never fail, though. We can't expect the old guard to come running. It'll be up to us to save the day. Yep. The feet of proof. Alpha Node would share his strategy for information gathering. As we've just been informed, the feet of proof requires us to seek the high luminary Gerfler somewhere upon these mountains. However, if earlier feats are in, in, in any indication, we must assume the challenge prelude, pre, precludes that Yakoi from answering our questions in a straightforward manner. Thus, I would like you to ask, uh, pay close attention while attempting to divine. To divine Garfler's whereabouts. Though the giants may not give us the pers a precise location, they, there may be clues hidden within their words, such as such in my theory, anyway. Let us see what we can discover. Okay. Oh, we have two over here. Or one, I should say. Hello. Yogurwar. Yogurwar. Luminary. No, I've not seen him today. Now, let me ask you a question. The Zabral, who came out of the temple earlier, was that really a third promise? She seems rather unimposing. How was she meant to succeed the mighty Galujaja? Alright, so I got nothing from that one. I'm closer to this one than you. There you are. A Turlyol? No. Are from farther away than that, I think. As for the High Luminary, I can only guess where he might be. He has wandered off the Sky Ruin. But also Keeper of the Spec specklers and his duty often take him outside the village. Spectrals. What am I doing? I'm walking into that. Alright. Looks like we're down the other set of stairs. I almost jumped. Almost. Asking after the high luminary, are you? Uh, oh, wait, sorry. Asking after the high luminary as well, are you? I know not where to find him, but I do hope you have the opportunity to speak together. He's a great man, with a deep reverence for our traditions. These glyphs we carve for one, he affords them as much value as any treasure we possess. There are records of our lot of lives lived. Your arrival, too. I will etch into stone. That the story of our meeting may endure the untold turnings of the sun. If you are curious about our ways, then I bid you visit Proof. To the northwest of here is one of our grave sites. Hmm. Okay. So to the northwest, the Proof. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. 
let's see what everyone else has to say. Right now, I know where the graveyard is and that he does things outside the village. First things first, was anyone able to coax forth a definite location for the High Luminary? No. As expected, what then of the clues or other hints that might point us in the right direction? I heard that in addition of his usual duties, Gerfler is also charged with keeping the graves. As did I, the Akhoi Specklers appear to be in special significance in their culture. Hmm, but would it be appropriate for us outsiders to enter into their burial grounds? Well, they did say I should visit them, so I think it's okay. Proof, you say? Uh, and he encouraged you to visit the place yourself. Yep. Then let's go and take a look. And if we don't find Gerfler there, it will give us a chance to learn more about the Ahoy. The gravesite is somewhere northwest of here. Well, we can leave that, leave from that side of the village for a start, shall we? Alright. Oh, I don't need a mount. I, all I have to do is walk over there. Oh, I think I can see it from here. Is that the grave site down there? That might be it, the proof. Or is that it there? The others have gone ahead to the proof to proof. Following the trail west, there are sharp drops everywhere, so we'll, we're all moving at our own pace. Some of us are not built for craggy terrain. I thought to get my bearings from up here first, so I don't stumble off a cliff. Why don't you try to catch up to Aaron Bell? He should be able to point you in the right direction. Alright. Let's go. Also, Wimp, all you have to do is this. Yeah. Alive. If someone attacks me even once, I'm dead. Alright. Alize, how you doing? It's not quite mountain climbing, but these steep slopes are exhausting enough. I bet. Tuladile. It's like a Pokemon. Tuladile. The Crag Pokemon. Nariordor. The Tree Pokemon. Yeah, maybe that's the proof. Maybe. Or up there. I see there's something up there. Oh, wait, no, that's the proof. Look at that. Also, those scratch marks from the thing? Maybe. These have the look of homes rather than graves, but would seem long years have passed since anyone lived in. Yeah. Volcano, maybe? Take a look at this crater. There's no wood, no trees, not even dried grass, and yet the ground still burns. This must be one of the scars left by Vigor Gramada's rampage, as told by the saga. The sky ruins fires are described as eternal, flames that can't be quenched by neither storm nor time. And here I thought it was a literal, a literal, literally, embellishment. Ah, but now I lost sight of Wakuma. Proof is northwest along the main road, so hopefully she's still heading the right way. Oh, wait, that way? Oh, damn, I thought it was that. That looks so... gravy. Get to her. Alright. Go 
these fires have to be eternal. How powerful do you have to be to breathe everlasting fire? And on top of that, everlasting ice. Oh, I found the proof. Ah, she found him. Look at that, she can get lost. And that must be a farm down there. Oh, never mind, I know where that is. Oh man, if I fall down, that would suck. I am very tempted to jump. Well, I don't want to. It's like in Shadowbringers when you're at the goblin's place and then there's a giant elevator. It's like, I can jump down this wall and live. Waste a lot of time, but I can do it. Hey. Good job, Wuklamot. I don't think you need our help here. <laughs> Wuklamot wins again. Oh, I didn't know we were having a competition. My bad. Look, looks like everyone is here now, so... Greetings, friend. Are you Gerfler? No, I am not. The High Luminary did, however, task me with providing a lesson of... Spelchers to those who come in search of him. Oh, so we're meant to find our way here after all. Are you to tell us who is buried here? No one is buried here, in the sense you mean. And the body has severed... A served its purpose. We could sign to the flames and scatter its ashes across the peaks. Ah. So they cremate and then free them in the lands of which they live. Moreover, we do not conceive do not conceive of death as others do. For us, a person does not die when their heart ceases to be, but only when they are no longer born in the hearts of all who know them. This is why we built our spelchers before an age of misshape claims us that we may etch ourselves into the living chronicle for all eternity uh, so each stone is a per, uh, one a, a yakoi who have passed but they etch their story onto a stone so they will be forever remembered and eternal not dead but mm, a memory this grave belongs to a good friend. This mortal vessel ended its journey some years ago, but he lives within me, even now. Up there stands my own spelcher. As long as it exists, so too will I. I'll endure it in the hearts of those who read my grave glyphs, in the same manner my friend does in mine. Has it always been thus for your people? Your conception of existence and death? Continue along this path to be in indebitable passage. Behold the history upon its walls. You may find your answers to your questions. But crack! Then that's what we'll do. Your traditions are fascinating. I love no more. I thank you for allowing me to share them, for in doing so, I will remain in your hearts also. Oh, That's a nice way to think about it, personally. Alright. So everyone here has lost their mortal Form, but their memories and everything are etched on stone to live on for eternity. Hmm. Are you an enemy? Halepen. Halu. Wait, Hal? Alpen. Halepen. Halepen? Halepen. I think it's Halepen. Halepen. Yeah. Who discovered sorrow? Oh, yay. Who loves sorrow, man? Got it. Oh, and Devil Passage. There's stories up there. 
The Golden City? Is that the Golden City? And then this... Interesting. We're all gonna be looking at those. I get the feeling they were expecting us. I've never spoken with a Hawk Yakoi before. I had no idea they held such a philosophy on life and death. Look at these splendid Merle murals. They appear to depict four different scenes. Merle, uh, murals. They can not only be remembered, but to live on inside the hearts of others. It is possible that Grandfather surely lives on inside mine. It's a comforting thought. Asked Cryo. Hello, a fellow. We met at proof suggest that we come here. Yes, the High Luminary command commanded that I watch for your arrival as the chroniclers of our people. It has ever been my family's duty to pass on teachings of the murals for generation to generation. Time to learn about the history of the Yahoy. That one, I think, is like their destruction. That, I think, is a city of gold. They truly are magnificent. Together, they tell the tales of your people's history. There are events which shape us. I would share them with you. Uh, you continue on your way. Please, we would love to hear about it. Then I will begin. The first mural depicts a time more than 1100 years ago, an age of great prosperity for the Yakoi. Blessed with the size and strength matched by other peoples, our ancestors marched forth and brought much of Yakoi under their dominion. Oh, yeah, Toro, my bad. Then, when all before them been conquered, they turned their gaze northwards, seeking to expand their territory and power. Here, you see the expedition of Zakturo. Unable to cross the strait by ship, our forefathers set to, set to building a bridge to the northern lands, a great labor which consumed the greater part of a century. Holy cow! That giant... Okay. Woo! Can't wait to cross that bridge. Zorgal the Boundless. We still make use of that bridge in Turtle for, for travel. I can't imagine the patience and dedication it took to complete a work of that scale. But I've never heard of any Yakhoi living at, in Zakturl. What happened to the ones who went north? Look upon the next mural and behold the answer. The one that looks like it's full of destruction. The scenes suggest that many giants perished all at once. What manner of enemy could have repelled their invasion? The foe unnamed and unseen. When the expedition pushed forth into Zakturl, those thousand years ago, its soldiers were felled by disease. Oh, no. A terrible illness? No. No violent plague or newly arisen blight. The local Tanawada and Shetona is but a mild affliction of the sort that comes with the turning of the seasons. What manifested for them as slight fears or coughs. coughs ever proved deadly to our people. Oh! So the common cold for us is a deadly plague for them to the point it is lethal. That's why they stay in the mountains and don't ever visit other people. Because they will probably die if a person literally coughs. Out of every ten Yakhoi who joined the northern campaign, nine succumbed to the infection. Those who survived continued to suffer, finding it difficult to sire offspring. I've heard of this before. Lacking an in inherited resistance, visitors to distant lands can fall deathly ill to diseases a local might shrug off. These events might also have given rise to the practice of cremation rather than burial. Of yeah, 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 yeah. They do cremations and all that, so the bodies don't stay around, so they don't get diseases and rot and all that. Okay. Okay. 
Also, yeah, that I've heard of. Like, there are people who'll drink, like, not well water, but you they'll drink, like, unfilled, like, not unfiltered water, but unpurified water back in, like, the 1800s and so on, and 1900s. And then as soon as they start drinking, like, purified water, I remember hearing a story about this in history class, so forgive me if I get slightly wrong. I've known names, of course, because I honestly don't remember. But when they start drinking, like, pure, not purified water, but, like, sea water that's more cleaner, they tend to get sick. Like the Indians and all that. The final mural depicts the city uh, or the return of our grieving brethren to Urquipaca. Oh, I was wrong. It is a lovely mural, though. The reason they first left, why they have fought so long and pushed so far, was to ensure peace for our homeland. The undertaking began ancient times when our forebearers learned they shared the continent with peoples unlike to us in appearance or custom. They feared invasion was inevitable. Rather than meekly await their fate, they decided to strike the first blow. And as they fought on and on, the old idea of peace drifted further and further away. Only after the disaster of Zakturl and their withdrawal drawl, the mountains did they come to understand. The peace was envisioned we envisioned has been ours for t for the taking all along. It was here in this place which birthed us. Here, in the stones upon which we recorded our days. Here, in this tranquil life we had traded for conquest and conflict. When you did nothing but fight, it blinded you to, uh, blinded you to what's right before your eyes. A.K.A. her brother, other brother, the first promise. Ah. Uh, and so we've returned to the present. Trust you found this brief story, a brief history of ours, people enlightening? Quite. I'm always glad to learn more about my fellow Turlii. How do you live until now, and how, and how you wish to live from now on? And I believe you're ready to proceed. The High Luminary bids you meet him upon the summit of Wakor Zomor. I have a feeling we'd end up scaling the big old mountain. Well, it's a feat worthy of its name. Follow the trail of uh, south of here and begin your ascent. But be wary, beyond the entryway, the mountainside is home to ferocious beasts, both mundane and otherwise. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the warning and the lesson. Oh, this is a dungeon. 100%. Finally, we know where we're going. The top of Wakora Zomor. And it's probably a dungeon. I'm going to call it and not do the dungeon in this episode. Oh, now I can do side quests. I'll have to continue over there one day. But right now, no. Because I will probably have to go back. Because usually the story has you go back to areas in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. At least I remember doing that quite a bit, a little bit in Endwalker and definitely Shadowbringers. So I got a feeling I'll be visiting all these areas at some point. And if worse comes to worse, all I'll be doing is taking my mountain flying across this land. Which honestly, I'm not, uh, the graphical update, I can see the difference. It's not major, but the game is definitely prettier. Yeah, look at that. It looks a lot better than base 14 before the slight engine upgrade. Buckle up, how you doing? If I'd known we'd be climbing Wokozomor, I might have not raced up and down all those trails. My feet are killing me. <laughs> it's mountain air. It's going to be a death of me. What? How long have I been standing there? I, I was just talking about the scenery is all. Come on, we don't want to fall too far behind. I'll know the others. Uh-huh, putting on a tough face, aren't you? Flint. Well, aren't you? Oh, you're a bomb. I bet you have self-destruct. I'm just gonna stay over here. The everlasting fire still burns in the mountains for a clod. Hey, buddy, I'm just gonna run by you. Let me luck. Yeah, that's 100% a dungeon right here. Oh, I can't wait to do it next time, but personally, I think this one's gone on long enough. 
Also, you have to forgive me. I have a map open in my corner for me. All the time. I fear it won't be much use for you as a guide past this point. Even if Turliel, even in Turliel, there is precious little written about the sacred peak of Wakal Zomor beyond whimsical poetry, that is. I can... I cast a rejuvenating spell on Wakal Even our indomitable third promise is feeling the strain of these slopes. I mean, she did say she was running up and down like crazy. The size... The true size of a mountain is never more apparent than when you're standing right in front of its foot. Oh, yeah. Alize. I hope we come across Bakul Jaja on our way to the summit. We still owe him one for the troubles he caused us in Kazmauka. I got a feeling we're not seeing him. So won't get your hopes up. You remember how the chron chron chronicler was saying that the more they fought, the further away they moved from their idea of peace. It occurs to me that if Zoral Ja is attempting the feat of proof, then he will have heard the sa that same lesson. I can only hope that it made him reconsider his own stance on educating people through war. I hate to say it, I don't think it educated him. The next time, I will be doing the High Luminary. I got a feeling it's a dungeon, but for me, it's gone long enough. And I'm gonna take a break here for now. I am enjoying this expansion so far, and I got a feeling when this puppy picks up, which I think it's on the verge of picking up, honestly, because it's shown hints here and there of, you know, tension and all this and that, and her getting kidnapped doesn't help things. But we'll see. Right now I have no guesses of what's going to be happening in the story or what is going to await me. I know I'm fighting that stupid dragon. I'm not stupid. They literally say, eh, it's got a couple of years left. I got a feeling Baku Jaja or someone's going to free it. And we're going to have to fight it. The, the good thing about that is, is it's not going to be as it was in the past where it was free reign, full power, doing all this and that. It's been encased in ice for so long, it's going to be in a weakened state when we fight it. So it should be po possible. But here... But nah, that's not important right now. What's important is next time... Sorrow. Next time we're climbing up this mountain, and I got feeling it's a dungeon. So I will be accepting it next time. But right now... I'm getting a little tired, and I got something I want to watch. Relax, you know. Maybe actually finish doing my dailies for once, because I still have yet to do some of them. But yeah, I'm gonna call it, and I'll see you next time. We will be doing that, which I know is a dungeon for a fact. Until then, I'll see you now, and goodbye.